for the foundation. One of the founding members of this foundation. And I play as a DOC member. Now coming to work, uh, we work on the data management uh, project. Soda Foundation. Soda Foundation, can you explain that? Yes, yes. So Soda Foundation is a sub-foundation in uh, Linux Foundation, just like CNC. Okay. You may be knowing cloud computing mm -hmm. foundation. So it's at the same level. CNC is focusing on the cloud native projects and we are focusing on the data management projects. Uh, so we have multiple projects on multi-cloud, uh, observability and stuff like that for all uh, data management set. So majority of the projects are driven by Indi uh, from India today. So my interest in the community building is that from scratch, from zero, we have built a community for Soda Foundation in India. And I am very happy to say that the most active and vibrant community for Soda Foundation overall globe is India today. Uh, so the last few years I have been working in open source to I mean, understand from developers, students, uh, even academia, faculties that what is that barrier? So what is what is the barrier, barrier. of open source? So today if you see more or less maybe you can disagree with me, more or less we are users of open source. And if you see technologies, right, say any technology you take, big data, uh, AIML, any new technology, cloud, container, most of the prominent projects are in open source. Who built it? People like us. Are we one of them? Can we one of them? That is a possibility of open source. So if you start working in open source, you can work in research of latest technologies for the globe. That is a kind of visibility we can build. Is there any gap for us? Absolutely no. Why? Because India is known for software development. We have the highest skill for software development, no, non-debatable point, right? This is our interest. So that's why we started working with universities and we, we know what are the pains of uh, building the community. We have tried different mechanisms like mentoring, one-on-ones, sessions, boot camps, uh, but the conversion rate is less than 5% for an active sustainable development. Now recently, uh, I have proposed something like a new course on open source in one of the universities. So they have reviewed in their academy this thing and approved as a course. So this will be starting in November. It is completely on an open source demystified level 1 course. It's a mandatory course for them. The idea is that usually in academia, the open source project or course is happening in such a way that open source project uh, Paper is Kafka mm -hmm. or Big Data yeah. or Linux. This is open source. Yeah. But what is open source? What is the culture of open source? Mm -hmm. What is our philosophy? Open source? Yeah, what you yeah. can learn? Economy. How do you be part of open source? This is completely missing. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So what I'm saying is, you can carry on there, even if all of us take similar tracks of addressing, say, the uh, situation as it exists, the problems and the solutions it would not be an overlap because we are all coming from very different perspectives and it might actually so so don't worry you'll just go on whatever stream 